Hello, I'm a PX Cat, and welcome back to the video. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the weird features found only in this brand new beta for Minecraft on the Xbox One that are pretty darn strange and that weren't in the old version that you're going to want to check out because the brand new version of Minecraft brings a whole bunch of brand new features and some of these features are, you know, make a lot of sense and are kind of good and some of these features are just plain strange. So I figured with today's video, why not talk about some of the really strange ones to learn about some of the weird features you might want to play around with in this brand new beta. So hopefully you do all enjoy this video. You can like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel and let's know you do like this sort of video and want to see more kind of comparisons between the old and the new but with that said let's get straight into talking about the weird features found in the beta that again aren't in the old version I want to stress that a whole bunch because these are so so uh, confusing to a lot of players I've had a uh, the questions about the first one here which is the stone cutter found within the uh, you know the third tab over here the items tab because you'll notice how next to the chest noted next to the shock boxes and the anvils you'll find something called the stone cutter and this is the most confusing looking block because it looks a little bit like a uh, you know a detector block you know a, a thing that can uh, you know uh, observer block, a thing where you can see what's put inside it, but it's actually a very strange, uh, you know, block which looks a little bit like a crafting table, a little bit like a furnace, and just a little bit like something else entirely. And the simple answer to what the heck is this is it's a Pocket Edition exclusive that they removed a long time ago, but it's still left in the creative menu just in case you want to build with a brand new block. So that means that on the console, this is a purely visual block. There's no actual function for this, and the purpose it used to have, in case you are curious, is it used to function as a way to get some of these stone tools in Minecraft. So back when the crafting table and crafting was first added to the pocket edition a very very long time ago they needed to make some tools only craftable at uh, the stone tools and uh, to be precise only craftable with this because the crafting table could not support all of the tools so they made like essentially a second crafting table that only worked for those tools and although it existed for a very long time it didn't really have a purpose after they fixed the crafting and uh, yeah uh, uh, however since then they've left the uh, block in the game and it's now available in the creative menu if you want to play around with yourself so yeah there's a brand new block that really only exists visually but you can confuse people with it you can make like a weird gear factory if that's your thing and it essentially means there's a brand new you know uh, visual block to make weird things look even more weird and if that's your thing then this is a, a feature that I think is pretty strange in the brand new version of Minecraft Xbox and yeah a lot of people have been curious about that too now you know it's a pocket edition artifact that just uh, I guess it can has some functions visually but with that said let's move to the second feature which confuses everyone and that is the brand new creative menu so the brand new creative menu or the again the old creative menu that's now on console is actually kind of fascinating because it only has four tabs or it has four tabs in the search tab and uh, because everything Thing, you know you have to expand to see all the doors to see this or that it means it's actually fairly easy to find the thing you're looking for most of the time if you're looking for something that used to be a giant category like for instance dies it's a little bit harder to find it on this new version I find but if you want to find something that was just one item before it's really really easy to find right now like totem of undying right there elytra right there do you want to find anything else you can probably find it pretty easily and that's kind of a uh, that's that's a pretty good thing in my opinion however uh, the thing where this gets confusing is because using it can be tricky like oh yeah so um you know if you want to find like a particular block all the way down here can be tricky to like press that and then you think you've got it but no you've opened the menu then you've got the wooden press play so that can be really confusing and also like you know trying to put the items in uh, can be messy uh, because if you don't have slots in your inventory it just goes right into your hotbar uh, into your inventory rather than your hotbar sorry and that's kind of uh, weird right there also if you want to throw away items in creative in the same kind of vein you have to like uh, press A on them first and then press Y which is kind of strange but that's how you get rid of items and now you know so yeah the second thing is the creative menu and really just the interface as a whole it's very confusing but it does come with the really I, I, I think this is great because it shows just how far Minecraft's come. If you actually look right here, you can see how... Um if you go to the search tab, sorry, you can use this to search. Like, if you want to search for, like, T, for instance, you can see all the things of T in them. But if you want to, if you want to just, like, look at every block in Minecraft ever, you can see them all in this last tab. This is a tab that combines every tab together and shows every item individually. And it's really, really cool, in my opinion, that you can see every single item and you can see how far Minecraft has come. If we had done this, like, three or four years ago, uh, you'd have seen, like, maybe, like, 100, 200, 300 blocks. It wouldn't have taken nearly this long to scroll. And now look how many things there is. There's so so much to play around with in Minecraft and that's one of the things that you might not appreciate until you see this tab. So yeah, the second weird thing is the new creative menu. It looks weird, it opens weird sometimes, uh, but you know, there, there it is right there. So let's move on to the third uh, feature which is very strange, which is the, uh, I guess the, the dying system as a whole is kind of weird, like oh, so you can dye water in this update and then use it to dye your armor, uh, but you know, that's but that's just like a different way of doing the same thing. Something that is only on the, uh, you know, the Pocket Edition, however, and only another brand new console version, is the ability to have dyed horse armor. So uh, this will actually 
allow you, if I can find my horse, he's, he's roamed off somewhere, but this will actually allow you to, uh, if you have a tamed horse, you can put dyed arm on him, because there's a brand new type of armor only available on this version of the game. So if we actually go into our thing, you can see how like over here in the equipment, there's some, uh, there's a horse armor, and not just the three varieties we know, the diamond, the gold, and the iron, there's also leather horse armor, and this leather horse armor, you can actually dye it the colors you want to dye it. So do you want to have a purple horse armor? Guess what? You can do that. It uses up some of your thing though. Do you want to have like a, a green horse armor instead? You can do that. Do you want to get rid of both of those dyes? You can wash it right here. And I think this is actually a pretty fascinating way to have brightly colored horses. If you want to like have your horses be just as visible as everyone else, then you can do it this way. Also something different while we're here, because uh, I thought it was kind of wacky, is if you want to tame a horse, because we're going to have to do that for the first time, uh, let's grab ourselves some uh, wheat. So if you want to feed a horse, it actually feeds the food to them. It doesn't just like magically go in their mouth. You can see the horse is actually eating the wheat right there and he's very happy that he's eating it. So this is another fun thing right there. So let me show you now, uh, just quickly, after we tame the horse, the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> after we tame the horse, which it should happen like immediately, uh, what the armor actually looks like on the horse, because I think it's pretty great. So yeah, let's show you uh, the purple armor first of all. So this is a bright uh, black horse. Looks pretty great with purple armor. Also looks pretty great if we take off the purple armor and put the bright green armor on there. So yeah, you can have very colorful horses now and that's something you couldn't do before. Horses in general look and function differently in the competition and you might not have known that. So with that said, let's move on to the fourth weird uh, difference between this version and the other one. And that is the fact that the void is back. That's right, if you dig down in creative, uh, unlike on co the old console version where there's just a limit there, uh, because presumably there's no good reason to dig down there. On the uh, on the brand new version, they just say, you know, what? if you want to dig all the way to the bottom, guess what? You can do it. And uh, here you can see, brand new console version just lets you go right below the world. And isn't that a great little thing? You can just see right underneath the Minecraft uh, con uh, console world. And that's something you couldn't previously do. There's not really much reason to be down here, especially because there's a limit down here. But if you want to like go below your Minecraft world and see what it looks like down here, I'll give you a hint, it's it's all bedrock. Then you can now do that, which I think is pretty great and something you can do in the current update, which is especially weird in my opinion. Now that's why it makes its way into today's video. So what is the final weird feature in this beta? Uh, it's actually one that a lot of people might like genuinely. I feel like most console players probably don't have a real use for this because uh, you, most when you play console, you're usually quite far away from your TV or your monitor or whatever. Uh, but if you do sit really close to it and you are used to PC games and your biggest gripe about consoles being the lack of FOV or you just want to get an advantage in PvP, you can go to something called video settings. So scroll the way down to video. Uh, if you turn on advanced, advanced video settings uh, found just over here. So there's a, a thing just over here, as you can see, called uh, uh, show advanced video settings. So if you turn that on, you can turn on particle render distance, you can turn on anti-aliasing, but most importantly, and most strangely, I think, I think is the FOV slider. So here you can see, you can slide the game way in and way out. So this is my, the, my favorite one is playing on 30 degrees. I feel like it looks like you're not really playing Minecraft. So here's a ridiculous challenge that you can actually do now. It hurts a little bit. It looks like you've absorbed a potion effect or something, but no, this is just playing with only 30 degrees of render distance. So you can only see uh, one twelfth. If we look around, you can see how we're seeing like one twelfth at a time. It's pretty nuts. But on the exact opposite side of the spectrum, because again, there's a lot of uh, you know flex space in between. So that's actually thirty point zero zero one degrees. If we slide that up, which it's not letting me do for some reason right now. Um, <laughs> I oh my my thing is stuck in, on on thirty degrees now. I'm not sure how I did that so horribly. Maybe if I like try this again. <laughs> so I swear it's actually like stuck itself. Like I can move the other sliders. But the FOV slider is now stuck on 30.1 degrees. Well, I found a new glitch in the beta. Maybe we turn that off and turn it on again. No, 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 my slider's stuck in 30 degrees. So yeah, now I'm stuck playing Minecraft at 30 degrees forever. But if you wanted to, you could turn it all the way up and you can see 180 degrees at once. You can see, oh man, this is just so strange. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, the other, the, I guess the sixth strange feature in the beta is the fact that it's filled with bugs. Because again, it's a beta. Please do report them when you find them because otherwise you get stuff like this that is stuck, turned on forever. And I don't know, this is this is too much for me. It's like you're, you're, I don't know, you're on drugs or something and you're just like, everything is so intense. Look at this llama, look how intense this llama is. Um, but yeah, this is Minecraft now uh, for me. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Actually, let's go find that horse again, because I, I really liked his thing. Let's see how intense that like bright green horse is gonna look with this turned on. So uh, yeah, as you can see, if we go and find him again, this, this is our, oh man, this. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, this is a challenge idea right here. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do like these sorts of videos. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. A reminder, um, I'm gonna be making a video at some point soon, that like on all the things about, so I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos about the weird things in the beta, the cool things in the beta, as well as a video about the improvements on the beta, so we're gonna keep seeing all of that stuff, and you wanna keep up to date with the latest Minecraft console goings on, so then my channel is the best one to watch for that. So bell me, or follow me at IBXTokeOut on Twitter, 
and you can do that right there. So thank you very much for watching today's video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.